In February 2003, London introduced the congestion charge. This is a scheme where drivers have to pay £10 to drive into central London. It was initially set up to reduce congestion, but also aims to reduce carbon dioxide in London's atmosphere. The idea is that fewer cars will drive and so carbon dioxide will be reduced. Support for the congestion charge came from the government. Organisations like Transport for London, TfL, offered the charge as it has created a revenue of £1.2 billion within the first 10 years of opening. Furthermore, £900 million of that revenue was reinvested into public transportation services like buses. Against the congestion charge were local businesses who were worried about the reduced number of cars and therefore the amount of customers in the area. For instance, John Lewis on Oxford Street reported that sales were down by 9% as a result of the congestion charge. Although the congestion charge was successful in the fact that congestion was reduced in London as the J's were 14% quicker, the fact that the scheme only runs from Monday to Friday, 7am till 6pm, meant that carbon dioxide was not completely reduced within London. <laughs>